of all the disabilities to have, I think this is quite a handy one because you can do something about it. I was very unlucky actually, it went when I was about 45, I don't know if I'd listened to a, a Live Aid concert or been near some shooting around here. To begin with, you just find yourself saying, sorry, what did you say? And then eventually you realise you've got a problem. And I particularly, and more importantly, noticed it in studios because there was nothing going into this ear. So everything was going into this ear, which meant that I couldn't distinguish between background noise and somebody talking to me, which means I'm quite tricky in a studio because I won't have any noise at all. I had always previously had a hearing aid that went behind my ear and then I bumped into an old friend of mine who's about five years older than I am and he had very cute um, hearing aids actually in his ear which I was very jealous of. I've had these sort of hearing aids since about 2010. They go in in the morning and they stay in. I mean, miraculous. I've been going to my audiologist for 12, 13 years. I don't think when I, I was slowly losing my hearing, I realized how much you need an audiologist who understands and is also up to the latest techniques. I really couldn't do without a good audiologist. I mean, I couldn't hear in a studio. So, I mean, it, it's the difference between my earning a living and not earning a living. What's important to me is the sound that I can hear is vastly improved from five, ten years ago. I mean, this is terrific. It's good for listening to music. It's great for television. Uh, and most importantly, it's fabulous in a studio. This is the best sound I've ever had. <laughs>